morning, my beautiful people. My name is Alison Monroe, and thank you so much for tuning in to DBS This Morning, the show that wakes you up in the know. Now, today we have some amazing artists for you because if you are an avid DBS watcher, you would know that I spoke about a specific project last week. So, we're touching a little bit more about that today. But before we can get into all the good stuff, let's take a quick stop by the news desk or this month's headlines. Good morning. The Ministry of Health has launched a campaign to get St. Lucians to become more physically active as a way of improving both their physical and psychological health. It's important for us to incorporate it um, in the public service when you're at work. Um, what can we do to, to encourage public servants to, to get up a little more? What can we do to encourage um, children in schools to, to go back to the, you know, to, the, to the schoolyard and play a little more? What can we do to encourage um, individuals in the community to walk some more. The campaign St. Lucia Moves was launched this week and is part of a wider regional initiative dubbed Caribbean Moves, both aimed to reduce the burden of non-communicable diseases or NCDs in the region. The St. Lucia National Youth Council, NYC, is accusing the Independence Planning Committee of disregarding the group's suggestions without explanation, effectively leaving the organization without a voice in the final decision-making process. I was the representative selected by the executive to sit on the independence committee. <clears throat> the first meeting I was unable to attend, however, we did have a rep at that meeting. Our treasurer did attend that meeting. At this meeting, we gave free, pro free proposals um, for the independence activities for this year. One of them would be to give strides of unity or to request that strides of unity be given back to the St. Lucia National Youth Council. The other one was to have a discussion panel on independence, on St. Lucia's history, so that we could better educate our young persons as to where we come from as a nation, where we've been and where we're going as a nation. Apart from not giving us strides back, we, we, we were disheartened, we were saddened by the situation. We requested a meeting with the then Cabinet Secretary Mr. Ben Emanuel, which never happened, disrespect again to the young persons, as to give, just give us an explanation as to why. The NYC says this is a pattern of behavior by entities that claim to represent the interest of the youth. Export St. Lucia, in collaboration with Ministries of Commerce and Agriculture, is gearing up for the National Business Expo on Thursday and Friday, February 16th and 17th. We have a national business expo taking place in celebration of our independence. So what this is supposed to do is to highlight um, all our businesses, most of them, over 70 businesses will be displayed on the market. Sorry, not the market, the William Peter Boulevard and um, Constitution Park. And um, those business places are what we do excellently in St. Lucia. So you're going to see high quality products all locally made in St. Lucia. Some of those that currently export, some that have the potential to export, but definitely all kinds. So we have different villages in the boulevard. You have the manufacturing village. When you enter into the boulevard, you, you will see um, quite a number of manufacturing enterprises. We also have the creative industries um, who are also part participating and the health and wellness persons who will be mostly based in Constitution Park. The Expo is part of St. Lucia's 44th Independence Anniversary celebrations. The stage is set for the highly anticipated Legacy Calypso show, Independence Edition. The show returns for the sixth installment and is expected to be one of the highlights of St. Lucia's Independence celebrations. We are pleased to present this Legacy Independence Edition again. It has proven to be one of the highlights, a kind of grassroots connection to the Independence celebrations, as usual to a sellout crowd. This time we've tried to introduce new features, some innovations, by balancing the established national icons with the fresh rising talent. People like Oshun, T-Blacks, and Reddy will be combining with the likes of Alpha and Invader to have a powerful show. Also, there will be a theatrical presentation with people like Nintas doing a dramatic treatment of some of the established Calypso forms, the idioms, and the subgenres. That should be very interesting from the very first note. The legacy aspect is, in fact, well-treated 
with people like Carol doing the material of his I iconic father. Reddy will be doing material written by her father for other artists. And so a lot of variety and lots of surprises on the night. And that show is taking place on Saturday, February 18th. Showtime is 8 p.m. And the venue is the National Cultural Center. Early bird tickets are 70 EC dollars and are available at Steve's Barbershop and the Wave. Regular tickets are $80 and four-time uh, Calypso Monarch Minel is expected to make an appearance at that show. Those are your top stories. Thanks for watching. Good morning. Thanks, new steam, and don't go too far because we'll be right back. <music>
British though. That's 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 a big thing. Would love to have the Jazz and the Saint Lucia, but the European tour is the next thing. Yeah, because uh, COVID came and it disrupted the tour, so we're doing another one again. So Nereus is up there waiting for this this time to come. I want to say thank you, thank you everyone. I want to say to the youths, education is the surest element for a better future. Keep doing what you're doing. Have faith, stay strong, and prosperity is yours. Well blessed. everybody so yes we have another artist who is also part of that project as well so let's see what they had to say well I've been singing for a very long time I used to sing um, Calypso um, I have performed on five occasions at police headquarters and also three occasions at um, Intercommercial in St. Lucia um, so singing has always been something I've really loved to do ever since I was a child. Um, I used to write a lot of songs, always I used to have a book full of songs. So it's something I've always loved to do, love entertaining. And um, whenever I get the opportunity, I usually um, go forward for it, yes. Um, I've, I love Calypso, I love I loved that, that, that season um, where I was performing Calibre, so it gave me an, uh, an ex exposure and also helped me to be a lot more confident in, in my singing. But I've always had a passion for soul music, for R&B, for reggae. I believe my voice is made for that type of, of content and I've always looked forward to doing reggae, more reggae, doing more soul music. That's what I'm really looking for, yes. Jolly Josie, um, we, I did a recording at Jolly Josie um, some years ago. Um, it was written by A.G. Simpson from Sufre and he really liked my voice and he gave me a call, told me about this um, opportunity and as soon as he told me about it and told me about the reggae, I told him, well, this is something I've always wanted to go into, sing more reggae and I saw it as a great opportunity for me to expose myself and also be part of the team and to really let persons know how much I have to offer. And it's been a very great journey, a very great opportunity, and I'm very definitely looking forward to more collaborations with everyone that is part of the team. The thing, I, I, I think you can say um, what I think personally is that it's kind of like the universe had some part to play in this. Um, it's like we came from different styles, different designs, but yet when we came together, we realized we work so well together. And we're kind of like a family. Um, everybody has their unique way of singing, their unique design, and, and that's what makes the, the songs so much more um, like heart feeling. So um, I, I just love it. I love everybody's song as well as mine, and I think we are definitely a great team. Yes. Oh, I hope this is just the beginning, and that I can I'll be able to get more opportunities like this. But yes, I am looking forward to the journey and it's been a very exciting one so far. So yes, I'm very looking forward to it, yes. The volume ones, uh, Senusha Heights volume one is already on YouTube. So you can go on YouTube to look up on it. Um, but I do have a, two, a few Calypso songs all, as well. If you just type in my name, you can get them as well. A lot of persons didn't know I sung Calypso before. So yes, you can just type in my name and you can get those as well. Yeah. everyone and welcome to this morning's soca size session leading the wine we have sarah laurie and shani let's get ready to sweat with soca size for this morning's workout we will be doing a cardio soca jam routine to do play that by marshall montano let's get moving so we're going to begin with our right leg toe tapping hands side to side 
four, three, two, one, and. Four, three, two, one, pump the arms, pump. Removing the core as well. Four, three, two. Now we're gonna shuffle. Push. Move those legs. Turn. 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 We're gonna tap, tap, and pull. Tap. Four. Three. Two. Left leg. Let's go. And by low impact, you can skip the jump and just tap the leg. Four, three, two, pump, and. Four, three, two, shuffle, push. Turn. 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 Four, three, two, one, stop. Four, three, two, one, pump. Left leg, tap. Four, three, two, one, pump. Four, three, two, one, push. Turn. 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 That was this morning's session. Thank you for choosing to flaunt with Soka Size. We hope that you're feeling sexy, sultry, and strong. All right, everybody, that wraps up today's show. I hope you enjoyed it. Stay tuned till tomorrow because you know we're keeping it vibey tomorrow, Friday. Have an amazing day today. Go out, put your best foot forward, and I'll see you tomorrow bright and early. Bye.